All right, you lot, don't forget to give us a follow on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And while you're at it, give us a five-star rating. Trust me, it really does help us out. As I mean, we were doing our live show for it and mm. had no idea what was going on. But we and were in vision like, the whole time, right? As well, so you can't even. Like, I was sweating my nuts yeah, off by the end of that. Yeah, bit, honestly, I think the only thing that was getting me through was the Red Bull, like the, the constant like <laughs> not Red Bull racing. I, yeah, no, not yeah. Red Bull <laughs> racing. No, no, no. The oh yeah, the unidentified <laughs> energy drinks that I've been drinking at Scotland at like four in the morning. Um, but yeah, obviously that was such a confusing situation, and it, we kind of got the vibe that a lot of the journalists on on site didn't know what was going mm. on and didn't understand it was going to be full points even red bull as a team weren't entirely sure how the, did that the play official out f1 you? instagram yeah didn't know said reduced yeah. points yeah what did you know as far as we all understood it um it was going to be how many laps can we get in once it restarted that would indicate how many points were awarded so mm. we had the 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 columns up um, or band one or however you referred it to column one so 25% is, yeah. is when then once we got past that okay now we're into 50% points now 75% and, and just going through the columns basically and and then the checker flag, I think, also came out a lap too early, or it felt like it came out a lap too early. Yeah, because loads of cars were still gunning exactly. out because they were confused. And I thought I'd buggered it because I thought, oh, I've missed him <laughs> going across the checker flag. So as a commentator, I was like, oh, worst case scenario. But thankfully, that was a, a thing that everybody didn't yeah. realize. So he crossed the checker flag. But then as far as we calculated, it, he was still... He outscored Leclerc with the penalty that Leclerc then got mm. by seven or eight points. He was one point off, basically, mm. in our initial calculation. It needed to be eight. Yeah. And I think it was seven. So I think yeah. he'd only outscored him by seven on our initial calculations. Mm -hmm. And that was that was me. That was Jolien up Sam. That was the production gallery. And that was Twitter. Go, you know, we all was like, he's not done enough. It, it's even with Leclerc's yeah. penalty. It's not happening uh, because the, the rules state, the regulation says that in the event a race is stopped and can't reach full distance, uh, it depends, well, four points won't be awarded depending mm. on how much you get in. Everyone uh, was on the same page. Thank God. It's just that page was the wrong page. <laughs> the wrong page. <laughs> yeah. But everyone yeah. was on it. But yeah. doesn't that just go to show, well, clearly if everybody is on the other page, there needs to be rewording. It's annoying looking back at the regulation now in the context because you can see what they mean with the context mm. of it. But clearly, when that many people aren't that sure, then there's something, there's an issue there. But we were being told the whole time um, when I think Johnny Herbert was told during the podium interviews, he was the one who announced Verstappen as the champion. I'm still being told he's not champion. He's not done it. Really? They, they've got it wrong. So I'm wow. thinking... And you're on the official F1. Where, and what do, are we thinking? What do you say? Yeah, I was about to say, what went through your mind when you was getting panic, cold? Sheer yeah. panic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what? It's only your fourth F1 race yeah. and you're already being... My, yeah. my <laughs> first one the for F1 TV. And you're right. It's the official Formula One uh, commentary. And, you know, you, you, you've got the big bosses watching and listening and, and you've, you've got to, to get it right. And, and obviously, I want to impress and do a good job at the same time, you know. So, but... I felt slightly reassured because everybody was on the same page. Mm. Yep. But at the same time, I'm thinking, well, well, everyone's just watched on the broadcast him being announced champion. And the graphic come up. And the graphics. The and and then I, but I, I literally asked, what, what do I say? I asked him, what should I say? Um, and I was basically sort of told, well, just don't, say don't say anything just, just kind it. of just cut. so i basically did everything but call him champion i i said he won the race and obviously celebrations you know and and just didn't i didn't want to say the words oh, clever skirt around That's just doing everything to still do still celebrate yeah. around it i even came down the, the drivers you know latifi in ninth <laughs> oh let's God. talk about that Great shall we? Him, you know <laughs> So, champion in his own right yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would have been a good word to use yeah you can come on the next one yes. um, but so so I was doing everything but and then eventually we uh, the, the, it came to light that you know okay he he is champion I think Jolien even did some calculations at one point assuming we were then doing full points and then he just went I think he is champion you know and I was like what um, so luckily though I then, I then, you know, listened to Croft, what Crofty was doing the Monday after and Jake's and, and Jack Nichols and yeah. everybody was on the same page. Yeah, I was yeah. like, thank God for that. But sheer panic at the time because you plan for various scenarios. I, I normally plan, you know, all right, if Verstappen wins, mm. this is mean, or Leclerc wins or Perez, you know, what's going to happen? Yeah. What, what should I roughly be saying? What's a good soundbite to say at the end of the race? You know, that did not see that one coming. And I feel every race I've done this year as well has been 
annoying and difficult. I've never had a nice smooth race. Which other Grand Prix have you done, by the way? But the Australian Grand Prix, Australian Grand Prix was probably the, actually the most simple one. Mm -hmm. um, but that was my first ever Formula One Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. So that was for the, the BBC uh, radio. Um, and then I did uh, the British Grand Prix at the track. And of course, that was the huge red flag for Joe Guan Yu, who crashed into turn one. Mm. So suddenly you're on air, you know, you're still on air and um, you're on radio. So no one is looking at any pictures either. So you, you're, you're having to be a lot more descriptive on the radio as well. And, and equally- such a huge accident Yeah, as well, difficult so. as when you don't know the, the condition of the driver. Exactly. Yeah. So and there are certain, the crash and it's a little bit- And there are certain guidelines, especially when you're on a broadcaster like the BBC, that you've got to abide by as well. Mm. You can't just assume things and you've got to, to follow the regulations and, and we were being fed information the same as everybody else but also at the same time when you're on five live um and stuff like that happens you i also had to at some point i'd be mid-race or whatever when we restarted and you'd have to you'd be told all right we've got to go to jessica who's at wimbledon um to give an update of 30 seconds yeah. so suddenly you'd be in the middle of a battle and hamilton goes through on both of them in the final corner and uh, it's lap 47 uh, and jessica's at wimbledon on center court and then you just have to wait 30 seconds while <laughs> while they would do yeah. their thing and you'd be like right let's just hope nothing happens for the next 30 seconds and then yeah. but that's part of the the five lives offering obviously because they're a huge sport yeah. network in the uk yeah. so yeah. you've got to do that um and it is quite nice in a way because it gives you a little breather and equally on the other side if you're not on main five live if you're on uh the bbc website or five extra mm. um you are the one feeding in so you have to stop your sort of live commentary and then go uh the bbc will throw the guy on five live or whoever it is will throw to you and you've just got to recap everything that's happened in about 30 seconds um and then pick up from where you were so everyone who's listening to you regularly will be like why has he just stopped and yeah, 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 yeah. Recap. but the, yeah, the, yeah. the listeners get to Understand know what's going on the reason yeah. why so it's quite yeah, a, that's quite a challenge it's a, such a different challenge to normal commentary yeah, I can imagine, right? um so sorry i got sidetracked there so british grand prix and then hungary which was the strategy nightmare yep. for ferrari trying to understand why they've done that and if mm. they've played a blinder or not <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> of um, course. Yeah. and <laughs> then uh, and then i did um, and then uh, Japan. Yeah. So, uh, but equally, I was doing the form stuff like the Formula Three finale as well to come a few weeks before that, and that was a nightmare as well. Yeah, that been just that was decided in the pit lane mm. after a red flag, and there was a point between it. About fourteen like that. people that could win the championship. Well, exactly. As well. And then there were penalties and time penalties applied, and you were like, "Well, how does that work? Are they going back to how many laps are they going back to when they were on the track?" That was with Victor Martins. Victor Martins, yeah. So yeah. he won the title. In yeah, the end. yeah, deservedly so. But it was it was uh, it was stressful. Well, he was saying after he was like, "I hope I don't get Hamilton in terms of well, like, well, <laughs> it, yeah. it kind of being taken away after." Yeah, with, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, I think because he'd done, he, you know, well, I, I, I can understand why, but it'd been a mega season of Formula Three. Like it was, if you don't watch Formula Three, oh, watch yeah. Formula Three. But it was yeah, so good. Brilliant. Um and uh, you know, he's he was more of the experienced driver, so he was, I suppose, the favourite to win it. Yeah. But he was he was kept honest by the young guns. So Formula Two, I'm imagining they'll be stepping up next year. I think that's the plan for them mm. anyway. Oh, that will be, be mega be amazing. Next It'll be year. mega, one to tune in for for sure. But um so yeah, so it, though the Grand Prix then that I've done have not been the easiest ones either. Mm. So uh it, you know, but I suppose that's, that's the best way fire. to do it. It's gonna learn you're exactly. gonna learn more from these instances. Because if you can then, deal with those, you can deal with anything. Exactly. exactly. Ones, you know. At the other difficulty is I'm, I'm dyscalculic which is um, dyslexia but with numbers only so nobody believes you when you say that you are that and they're like that's mm, not really real okay but it is so um you know i've got to look at a lot of numbers so hundreds tenths thousands and, and trying to work out um championship standing orders and all this kind of stuff so that's a battle i have to try and make sure i'm not mucking it up essentially and got, oh, I put wow. the right number in because yeah, I can misread numbers really easily or, or you know it's similar to what dyslexia is for mm. for, the, for, for the written language right. dyscalculia okay. is for numbers um, so it's not awful but mm. it, the, I had those moments where I had to take a little bit longer just yeah. to try and work that out so I, I put in mechanisms to try and I was going to say yeah, yeah so like I have a spreadsheet where yeah. I just put a number in and go done and that, that's what he's on okay great <laughs> i'm gonna go with that and then i'll double check with the, the galleries like, i've got 127 points have you got that too and then yeah we got that okay great okay he's won the title um so so you know there's a lot, lots of challenges to it more so than meets the eye when you're just watching it on home on your sofa yeah. mm -hmm. 